Alright guys, welcome back. Now in the previous video, we learned how to use the anchor tag to to link to different web pages. Now in some scenarios, for example when a web page has really long content, it is favorable to create links within the web page. So what we do is create some kind of a bookmark using an attribute called ID. Now this bookmark is just like how you have a bookmark when reading a novel. Now we don't want to go through one page after the other. You just keep a bookmark and then when you come back the next time, you can directly go to the page where you left off last time. So I have created, I have edited the about.chandler web page. So about Chandler web page using the content from the Wikipedia page so that we have lots of content that is scrollable. So let's say we want to read about his career. Now what we don't want is to scroll all the way just to read this. So instead we are going to create a bookmark for that career tag. So in Chandler.html if you scroll down all the way we have the career over here which is surrounded by the h2 tag. So to create a bookmark we are going to make use of the id attribute. So let's say let's give it an id. So id is equal to well since it's about the career let's say career and in our and at the top we can say after back to friends we can create another anchor tag so and this time instead of specifying an HTML file as the link we are going to specify that bookmark or the ID but it has to be preceded with a hash sign so for the hash and then career as the ID and between the two opening and closing anchor tag you can type career Chandler's career okay let's go with Chandler's career so Chandler's career so when we go ahead and save it and reload this file go to the top we have a link called Chandler's career when I click on that we are taken to this carrier. Pretty neat. Now, if we want to link, if you want to link to a particular ID or a bookmark from a different page, so let's say we have our index.html and we create another link called a and then an anchor tag. Now this is going to be chandler.html and then career so you specify the link where this ID is present so channel.html and then put a hash sign and then the ID value so which is career and then we can go ahead and type Chandler's career save it and reload it let's go back to our friends so Chandler's career and it takes us straight to the career so that's it about links, at least the basics of it. And if you guys have any questions, leave a comment and leave a comment below. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.